What's up, Dice Crew? Keeping it a Benji, and I'm getting back with y'all. Look, I'm sure y'all probably caught the video we just dropped with China Max speaking on Brick Baby. Now we got Brick Baby pretty much expressing himself on how he feel, and he's responding to China Mac. So let's dive in and see what Brick Baby got to say. Shout out to the Dice Crew. I'm going to keep it a Benji for y'all during my reaction. Y'all keep it a Benji for me in the comments. Let's rock. Hey, that boy Dave over here. Hey. I thought he was in my life talking crazy one day. Nigga, that's just what happened. You did. And I ain't taking nothing back. We ain't been listening. It just is what it is, nigga. Cuz came and used LA what he used LA for. He got the fuck on, man. Like everybody else. Hood boy. They bud. Big kill squad, nigga. OG kill squad. Original kill squad, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. 10th Avenue, though. Now, you know, y'all let me know, Dice Crew. Do y'all feel like China Mac used L.A.? I mean, sometimes, like they say, if you can't be used, then you're useless, right? But I also feel like China Mac can only use something that people allow him to use. So when he was doing Mac Talk, uh, excuse me, uh, Mac Talk and uh, uh, Mac Eats and stuff like that, and people was definitely pulling up and showing him love and he was showing them love and everybody was getting on each other platforms. I felt like didn't nobody have a problem with China Mac. So I don't think we could put that type of narrative out there at this moment just because he done moved alone and he got other stuff that he's trying to work on and get off the ground or make become more successful than what it already is, you know? Like he always said he always stated that one of the main reasons why he was even coming to LA was to interact with Crip Mac. You know what I mean? And I feel like to a, a, a small degree or a good enough amount, he succeeded with that. You know, things took a left, but, you know, I think they definitely got a good moment in life with the whole Mac uh, Venture situation that's, you know, going to go and be a part of this whole YouTube history. They don't know that I'm original die block cut. Don't let everybody know in this live game. Listen, listen, I said what I said about China Mac, man. He's a bitch. They can say whatever you want to say. Y'all go ahead and clip this, send it to you. Y'all go send it to him. Matter of fact, I ain't giving y'all what y'all want. Bring some more fans in here. Hold on. Y'all sit right here. Ah! I ain't give y'all. Gordy about to strip for y'all. Okay, well, Dice Screw, there y'all go. You know, I guess we ain't got to... Uh, wonder no more. I guess Brick Baby did call China Mac the B word. Well, he picked up them shoes. His fat ass was drunk and just ran into my motherfucking shoe, <laughs> shoe case. <laughs> he was drunk. He's like, oh my God, I'm drunk. <laughs> I woke up. He was oh sleeping. <laughs> oh, shit. And I got a text back. I got a that text, he's doing all texts right there. I don't know, man. Y'all like this. If y'all in the chat right now, can y'all take like two seconds out? Honestly, like two seconds out. It ain't gonna take no time. Yeah, they hit the like button. Y'all just hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. We gonna get it up. I, I mean, I got to. Y'all need to subscribe. Y'all do need to be subscribers on my channel, but y'all hit me with some likes. Hit me with some likes, man. I know I'm begging. I'm begging right now. And subscribe. Y'all do hit the subscribe button, but if y'all right here right now, let's do it. I'm about to, right here while y'all like it, we about to go ahead. I'm about to share this live in my Instagram real quick. All right, I got to know my rates. Probably went down, but we hit this motherfucker, man. Look, man. Keep it G. I don't even have a problem with China back. I just see bitch ass activity. How you in here you didn't like? What's going on? You guys are crazy. I just don't like bitch ass activity and I feel like a nigga being a bitch, so I'm calling it how I see it. Pussy ass nigga, we don't want you got to real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, the dead homies. I feel like niggas pussy, I call pussy, nigga. Uh, the, uh, you niggas ain't never. This nigga, China Mac, has never. Can you pick up for my boy? Look. Call, uh, call Kiko. 
Hell Squad, yeah, I mean Kill Squad, uh, Kiko, man. Yeah, he just a bitch. He can call me a bitch a million times. How many times this bitch ass nigga? He know what I do. How many times he say bitch ass niggas run tuck your phone from me, nigga? Other than that, homies, nigga, I'm the one that locked it in at the studio that day for you and Chai, you and Crip back to do that back ventures, man. Didn't ask for a dollar or nothing. Nigga, you begged me to come to the studio with you, nigga, when that nigga got out, nigga. And I told Five Figures he could trust you, nigga. Oh, six up. Because my motherfucking word is worth a whole lot that like Whether a nigga say what he gonna say or not, oh, six up. The same niggas that hate a nigga that's doing Duke Luke in the penitentiary and is a wobbler on the dead, homies. If I ever loved you a little bit, cuz on six up, nigga, I'm making sure you don't get stabbed on and all that behind them walls, nigga. Oh, six up. A nigga need to really understand, nigga, where I stand with this shit, nigga. On the hood, nigga, I'm I'm really like one of the top ops, nigga. You get what I'm saying? Like I'm really going and I understand emotion and I understand the stress and I understand what people are going through. So I really don't fault people. I understand jealousy to a T, nigga. Some niggas don't even know that they're jealous. You get what I'm saying? Uh yeah. They don't even understand why they jealous. But at the end of the day, China Mac, cause you a user. You was trying to do the same shit that you doing with Crip Mac with me, but the money on wasn't right, so I wasn't pulling up. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, if the money on would have been right, I done took plenty weekends off to shoot content with you while you was getting paid, gang. And on 6 so I was keeping it lit with the bitches because your square ass is a dud when the hoes come around. You get what I'm saying? I'm pouring liquor in the bitches' mouth. We going down PCH, nigga. Dead hummies. Like, nigga, walking in white folks' backyard, nigga. Off of your content. You get what I'm saying? And then at the end of the day, you get paid and don't nobody else get paid. I step back. Hey, send me them same sponsors. Oh, yeah, I got you, gang. I got you, gang. All right, cool. You ain't going to send them same sponsors. I back up off you. Crip Mac don't understand the business and shit, so this is just what's going on. You get what I'm saying? And uh, Muzzy Gully, interact with your fans. Check it out. How much you got on your bank card? Dead homies, it's called fan funded, nigga. You a fan, nigga, funded. We can, we, we can talk all fucking day. Yeah, baby. Well, yeah. Lacey Johnson, hi, girl. Okay. You made me, you know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, Trent Johnson. My boy Trenton, though, nigga, I, 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 I'm I letting something go. These niggas ain't, uh, like, I'm letting y'all get a piece of what I'm thinking. Y'all said China Mac called me all type of bitches. First and foremost, I'm sick, so. I'm on the streets. I don't fight, nigga. I, look, I fight one of my homeboys that I love, nigga. I'm sick, so crib, nigga. Nigga, we not up in cameras for fights, nigga. I, I, I'm really, nigga, shutting nigga shows down, nigga. Whether I'm saying it on live. I'm now, you know, at the end of the day, Everybody is entitled to how they want to go about situations. But what you got to know, like, you know, and this ain't just for Brick Baby. This is for everybody. But if you going to do a lot of disrespect talk about certain people and the only way we're going to ever see you doing some real tough stuff or hearing you doing some tough stuff is you more so kind of doing a crash out type of move, then, you know, I think people are going to be waiting forever because I don't think, you know, Brick Baby or a lot of other people is just in a hurry to do certain stuff that would be deemed as a crash out move. You know what I mean? Now, if somebody run up on Brick or anybody else, then, you know, handle it however you handle it, I guess. You know, however you suit, suit fit. But, I mean, you and China Mac them been had enough relationships to where I feel like y'all should be being able to catch fade. You know, man to man, handle your stuff. That's how we can see who really a coward or not. Now, you know, it's just, you know, I done heard a lot of people say stuff like that, like what Brick Baby saying. And some people, you you know, if you know, you know, they back them words up. But still, you're going to have to face a whole lot of people viewing you like you is afraid or you turning down the fade by just not wanting to fight. Because when you're a part of these streets or the gang culture, that's just something that's supposed to be like like rolling out of the bed in the morning. You know what I mean? Like it's just fate. It's supposed to be just something that's, you know, mandatory and, you know, something that's just just easy. And I ain't saying like just 
fighting is easy. You know what I mean? You have a great compo- uh, competitor. Obviously, it's going to be a, a hell of a fight. But I'm just saying, in general, it's supposed to be a part of the whole program. You know what I mean? Like, oh, you need that? You got that. And I ain't saying you got to just always move on somebody else's time. But, you know, y'all should definitely try to get that together. And whether it's going to be for content or just to get y'all feelings off each other's chest and y'all calling each other B-words and whatnot, y'all should prove who is who. It's just like if you don't want to fight publicly or on no cameras, I don't think you should be mouthing off publicly on no cameras about nobody. Saying it here or there, I'm just that stupid. I'm going to shut your show down. Ain't no point of you putting up on me thinking or even believing that you're going to get a fade. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, when you start believing... And I squabble trying to act like, oh, six so crib. None of these niggas really got squabbles, nigga. You see these niggas squabbles every day. I don't fake squabbles. I don't, man, I'm the dead homies. I really live like that. Like, nigga, what I'm punching on you for, nigga, I'm hood when I could do something else to you, nigga. Dead homies, I'm here to win. I'm not here to talk and see who got the best squabble. This ain't no motherfucking uh, Olympics. No boxing uh, competition, nigga. I don't look, nigga, nigga, shit. See if you can box them motherfuckers on six up. Leave a nigga ass in the box. Fuck a nigga talk about. Box, box, box your ass, nigga. I don't look. Exactly. Fake Mac and AD. It's an easy call. Then you bringing up the 40s, nigga. On the dead homies. They don't fuck with you either, nigga. Out the hood. If any 40 was coming up there to do anything to me, nigga, I would. I think that they'd publicly be saying that they came up there to do something to a nigga. I'm sick, so crib, nigga.